Welcome to the Game Changer 00100 show. I'm your host, Game Changer. Okay. So this is a mess, but sometimes messes happen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the phone recording of what has transpired. I think that there are some details left out, but I'm going to give my take on it. So fair use, fair use. I want the baby because I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you for a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretend like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing it. Okay. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. No. Okay, so what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? Nothing. What? Well, why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you going to deal with this? By by saying I don't want a baby. That's all. I mean, if you go to the, to the doctor, I guess. To the doctor. So you want abortion? I mean, yeah. And why do you make me pregnant now? Okay. So there's there's some things going on here. Now, on a previous thing, on their text messages back and forth, and maybe I'll go over that in this, um, he stated that he can't have babies. He, he can't impregnate someone don't really know if that's true if it is then that really says something about fresh well actually after i say what i'm about to say i'll get into what mainstream society and what people really think about fresh print ceo and what i think about fresh print ceo and yeah so if he can't get pregnant or if he can't impregnate a woman, then what that means is, is that he's just going around raw dogging um, and he's actually not telling the women that he can't get them pregnant. So he just, he's just enjoying the, their attempt at making a million dollar baby which means that this is not his kid if a kid exists. This is not his baby if a baby exists. And, you know, he's like, good luck trying. He's just going from attractive woman to attractive woman, gold digging woman to gold digging woman. Like, oh, yeah, you know, not. Because <laughs> beautiful women who want to sleep with a guy without any protection, they have an obvious agenda, and he's taking advantage of that agenda. I don't really knock someone for doing something like that, to be perfectly honest with you. I, I think it's kind of funny and a little bit poetic that, you know, a scammer gets scammed. Now, there is, of course, a public health factor. There's a disease factor. But that's his concern and that's his risk to take. Interesting thing to be doing if that is your situation. And if you impose that situation on yourself, if you went and got that snip tuck, and just so you can do this, you know, just so you can have like a train of gold diggers who, you know, it's like, dang, it's 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 been six months and I haven't gotten pregnant yet. What's going on? You know, I, I don't know. Try again. If he's doing that, that's that's um, I'm not going to compliment something like that because of the, you know, disease factor. 
but that would be an interesting take on this. Now, listening to the phone call, it's a coin toss because he seemed to his his stance wasn't strong in the you're not pregnant it's not mine you're not pregnant it's not mine it was more of the sense of i think that you are but go ahead and take care of it now this could be this could be and this is why i say it's a coin toss his way of just saying listen i don't believe you um but if you if you're in that situation then do this it could be that. Now, that being said, that being said, she when she said, what are you going to do to me? I think that there is something that's lost in translation. She has an accent. I think that there's something culturally lost. I think what she really mean to say is, what are you going to do for me? She might have been looking for an offer. She might have been looking for, you know, like, okay, if I'm going to do this act, then I got to get paid. It came at a convenient time. It came, you know, it's come now where, okay, um, they're broken up. She's She lost the meal ticket. I mean, I'm pretty sure, look at her. She's not going to have trouble finding another meal ticket, but she's lost this meal ticket and she's like, what's the next move? You know, how can I financially milk this situation for as much as possible for all we know, she could have did several guys like this. You know, she said that she dated a billionaire before, before um, fresh. So she could have did this several times. Like, listen, you know, I am pregnant and maybe even legitimately been pregnant by the person. And, you know, like, Okay, if you want to get rid of it and you're a billionaire, then give me 1% of that, which is $10 million, and all of your problems in life goes away. She could have gotten she could have gotten pregnant and emailed and or sent messages to text messages to five or six guys that was sleeping with her at the time, all of whom are wealthy. She's a highly she's a very attractive woman. That's uh undebatable. And it's undebatable because she was voted most attractive woman in a continent that has billions of women. So she's definitely um, an attractive woman, which means that she has high value options, exceptionally high value options. And she could definitely pull that off. Get pregnant or not get pregnant, you know, get the sufficient um, forged paperwork and contact several guys and say, like, listen, you know. Um, pay up or pay up. Now, that may or may not be the case too, because, well, if if that were the case, then she wouldn't just out this guy. Like he wouldn't be the one to get out it unless he's the only one that's not paying up. So is a situation that he found himself in. It's probably not his. I want everybody to embrace that possibility for a second. Now, I want to get into the legalities of it. And trust me, I, I'm i not a lawyer. Talk to lead attorney about that. I don't know if he's going to hit or he's going to get hit in the way that that people think that he might because i know everybody wants to thump on him everybody wants to say you know ah gotcha gotcha you know gotcha she got you on that child support she she got that you know she got them people on you etc 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 uh well maybe like do the people who say that do they know how child support work internationally do they know how it works if a Chinese citizen gets pregnant in Barbados from a person with dual citizenship between Barbados and the U.S.? Because I got to tell you, I don't know how something like that works. I, I don't know if 
there's an international child support thing going on where an American citizen has to send money to China. Like, do they do this in a Chinese court, a country that he probably hasn't been to, at least not with her? Like, there's 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 so much with that. That is a huge. That's a that's a huge Gordian knot of what's going on. You know how how is this going to happen? This is this is international law, international courts. You know between uh, countries where there's tension and things like that. I do not know how that will work. Um, if he winds up, or maybe she is she has dual citizenship and she's a U.S. citizen as well. That's possible. If he winds up having to send money overseas to a non-U.S. citizen for a child that was conceived not in the U.S., then I think passport bros would really have to rethink their game plan if that can happen. Like if if you're bound by U.S. laws and having to send uh, U.S. child support laws, you know, then that I'm not going to say it defeats the purpose of passport bros, but it definitely hinders it, you know, like because now the women overseas would be able to get the bag the same way the U.S. woman would be able to. And yeah. And then that's going to definitely increase the number of scammers that's going to come your way as you come their way. Yeah. Huh. So, yeah, that will, oh, man, this, this is a mess if it's his. Now, the way people think about Fresh Prince CEO, one, that he is a very... I don't even want to say superfluous because it's not really about the way he looks or anything like that. Um, what people believe is that he brings nothing to the Fresh and Fit show, at least nothing of entertainment value to the Fresh and Fit show. Of the two, um, Myron, you know, also known as Fit, is the true talent of the show. He's more of a you know, I don't really know what he is, like what what people think that he is. He's just, the show would go on without him. The show would go on just the same without him. See, he's, if this was the Avengers, he would be Hawkeyes. Hawkeyes is the most regular non-God human in the group, you know, there's no special powers. He really has the abilities of a very good sniper. It's not, you know, like Avengers would still go on just like, you know, with Infinity Gauntlet or Infinity War. It would still go on exactly the same without him. You know, it's not like Hulk is pinned down saying, you know, Hawkeye, come save me. That's, that's you know, or or anybody, or Thor, or, you know, um, or, you know, Iron Man. Like, that's, yeah. Um, that is his role in there. That's his contribution to this platform. And also that he's corny. But worst of all, he's a corny person. He's not really savvy with women. And, and he's teaching others a talent that he doesn't possess. I think that's his biggest criticism. That's why he has so many detractors that, you know, he's he's not what he claims to be. And he's selling a dream that the only way that he's able to dream this dream is because he sold it to you. So he really got into, and okay, by the way, the opinions that they have is one that I share, all of them. Um, I, well, maybe not the corny thing. I don't like to throw that word around, but you know, cause that's a, 
anyway, I don't like to throw that word around, but nevertheless, it's um, everything else. I do think that he is a ladies man that um, can't teach a man without means how to properly get ladies because he didn't do that prior to having means. You know, how, prior to becoming rich and famous, he really didn't do that. And his actions makes that very clear. Now, I don't mind a man using his wealth to seduce women. Um, you know, why not? Um, if you, especially if you are wealthy, I don't, I know people have like, you know, oh, you shouldn't leave. I don't really care. You know, get Miss Asia the way that you can get Miss Asia. Look at her, she's bad. And, you know, if she only dates guys, and she said this, if she only dates seven-figure guys and you just so happen to be a seven-figure guy, I say, why not? So um, that is what it is. But if you're going to teach non-seven-figure guys how to do stuff, uh, yeah. I guess the only advice you could give is that they become seven-figure guys. That's pretty much it. So I do share that opinion. And a lot of people who have this opinion, they really just want to see him exposed for it. They want to see like his house of, of lies just crumble down and, you know, he gets stuck in the system, you know, just like everybody else. But it's, it's not going to happen. And for one, it's not going to happen because he's only half of the Fresh and Fit podcast. And the way the concept of this whole game lifestyle goals goes, um, and this is from the dating coaches to, you know, just the guys who, who claims to be it. The, re the way that it goes is you get somebody like Fresh. And he says... Game, 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 game. So you have those guys. You have sources. And trust me, Fresh is not the original source of this. He he learned, quote unquote, game from somebody else. And he's regurgitating what he has learned to the masses. And that is how the game hustle really works. It's a, it's a pyramid scheme of regurgitation. Someone at the top, let's just say, I don't know if it is, but let's just say Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate gets a couple of guys like, you know, um, like Myron and and Fresh. And they say, OK, you know, now that I have learned everything you have taught me, I am going to teach it. Now, it may or may not work for them. Um, I don't know if prior to money it worked for them. I doubt it. And then from then, they say, you know, um, this works for me. It can work for you. And then it just goes down and down and down. That's why you have guys on here, you know, in this space. Like, you know, I get 20 women because I listen to this guy, you know, and everybody should listen to this guy. And the reason why y'all complaining and y'all have problems, not because there is a significantly uh, significant change in the cultural dynamic between men and women. No, the reason why y'all complaining is because y'all don't have information from this, you know, um, 25 year old source. Y'all don't have this knowledge from the nineties, which really don't pertains to modern dating markets. Y'all don't. So that mentality is going to be prevalent. And since your receipts are the success of the guys that, that, you know, use your service, heard of your service or, um, or, or has purchased your service, then you really don't have success because those guys, like many guys, are lying on their penis. Let's just keep it a buck. You know, there's guys here that say, yeah, I got 20, I got 20 side pieces. Like, really? Okay. You know, so, you know, these guys, they're the ones who are verifying your product, just like you are verifying, you know, the person who taught it to use product. But it's all cap. It's, it's all just an illusion. This is just a case of a beautiful woman meeting a wealthy guy and, you know, hoping to get a payday. 
And make no mistake, this is not some, this is, she's 28 years old and she hasn't been, you know, of course, as, as far as I know, she hasn't been pregnant before. She claims that she, that she don't do the deletion thing because she, because of her religion. You know, if that's true, then she wasn't pregnant before, or at least it obviously didn't take to term. So she's, she's seeing a payday. She, she's, you know, and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, let's make this happen. Let's, let's go to Barbados and, and I'll meet your family and, you know, you X meets Y and we're going to see what happens from there. Come on now. You really just have like no birth control at all whatsoever. Is that, is that how you roll in miss, you know, uh, miss Asia? Like you, 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 you just let, you know, you just let dude shoot up the club regularly like that. She said somewhere too, that this is a miracle. You know, I don't know. She said, you've been trying for seven years or she's been trying for seven years and it happened, um, which means that, well, first of all, why would either of them be, be trying for seven years? They didn't know each other for very long. So I think that there is a lot of unknown factors is the best way to put it. There's a lot of unknown factors here that needs to come out. But the biggest thing is if the child is his. Now, let's, I'm, I mean, I want to talk about the ramifications um, of if the child is or isn't his. So first, let's talk about if it is his. If it is his, if it is his kid, if it is his kid, then he will appear to be, and quite frankly, might be the stupidest dude out there. The dumbest dude out there, because that's like game one-on-one. That's like player one-on-one to use protection. I mean, if you if you're not using protection, then you and you are capable of impregnating women and you are a man of means. That is like the most obvious hustle that you can fall for. It really is like you you're not one of these dudes that that, you know, she she just took the condom out the trash and did a turkey baster on or something like that, you know. Or, you know, she she spat it back into her. No, you just you just took it straight from the source. Like, really? You know, that is the oldest book in the trick. Like, you know, oh, yes, I'm on the pill or, you know, I can't have it. That is the you fell for the oldest trick in the book, which is a sign of gross inexperience. That's a sign of gross inexperience. You. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you got some coins in the bank and then you just went giggity, giggity, giggity. Oh, yeah. Like, really? And this is what you're teaching? Like, if you're if you're not teaching dudes to protect yourself at all times, then what are you teaching them? Or are you not teaching them anything because it's ultimately not effective because they're not going to get laid anyway? You know, you're just saying stuff. You're just giving buzzwords like, you know, oh, you have to have confidence and you have to speak with with dominance or something like that. And yeah. that would be the case if she is if it is yours, if she is what she says she is, she is pregnant and it is yours. That would be the ah, that would be the L that you take in that way. If she's not then you're you're taking a well i don't even know if you're taking one but you're definitely giving an l and this is a situation where if she is pregnant and you're not the father of course she would take one too but you would be given an l not just to her but more important than that to me, because 
what you did, and I know that you didn't know that you were being recorded on a telephone conversation. What you did was you played into a very negative and damning stereotype that black man has had for quite some time. And I know you're from Barbados and you're not, you know, you're not actually born African-American, but um, nevertheless, you present as one and a, you know, girl from China who meets a foreign guy. She don't know the difference between you and us because quite frankly, you know, Barbados can't be considered um, American. So um, she, from her point of view, so she don't, she don't know. She's just like, you know, these black guys from the West don't take care of their kids. Like that is the mentality that's going to be the reputation. Like, you know, if, if they get you pregnant, then they're going to be the ones that say stuff like, you know, well, you know, it's, it's not painful. There's a pill for that, which is really just like a lackadaisical attitude, which, which, and this is a side note, uh, which really comes from, uh, this whole gotta be alpha at all times training. You know, like, like, oh no, I got to, I got to remain alpha. I got to just stand on this whole, whole, you know, like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do anything. Uh, there's no finesse to it. There's just, there's just, you know, oh yes, well, I don't want one. I don't want one. So because I present as alpha, you must do as I desire. You must take my wants into extraordinary considerations. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Good luck with that. Anyway, um, it's a bad look. It's it's making things, a, because she's a highly visible woman, obviously being this Asia. So it's going to make things a little worse or maybe a lot worse for the guys that travel for the black guys that travel to Asia, you know, and they want to get down with the get down because, you know, at least the Asian women who are looking for serious relationships are going to have this. You, you have now spread that stereotype to another continent um, in a very, very, very loud way. So that's something to take into consideration. Now, let me see if I can find what exactly she was on and some of the red flags that was uh, that was going on with that. So um, it's okay. I think this is it. Okay. Uh, no, what I'm looking for. Um, someone's not boring and very, very okay. um honest. Okay. Okay. And uh, knows what he wants. Okay. okay. Uh, how much per year? Not less than seven figures. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Okay. So that's got to be one one million a year at least. Yeah. You dated. Okay. Once again, I don't mind the dynamic. Wealthy guy meets beautiful woman. You know. I mean, try. Try becoming a wealthy guy and finding a woman that ignores your wealth. You can't, she can't ignore your wealth any more than you can ignore her beauty. So that's, that has now become a part of you. And if she's attracted to that part of you, then so be it. That's the way I look at that. So she only dates seven figure guys. She said no less than seven figures. And he's a seven figure guy. Watch a little bit more. Which is fine. Mike was billionaire, so oh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. height. Doesn't matter. Because I used to care about the look a lot. But right now, I just don't care. Okay. Okay. Um, it's really common amongst Asian women to not care about looks. Um, what they do care about is up for debate. But, um, yeah, it is, this is a very common thing for them to not really put... And if it's on looks, this isn't really a jab at freshest looks. At least he shouldn't take it that way. But I know a lot of his detractors will. So, you know, that's something that he has to live with. Um, it does breed the question of what is important to her and what's the premium on that importance. Because once again, 
the only thing wrong with those type of relationships, um, you know, beautiful woman, uh, wealthy guy relationships is that if a, if you're put in a circumstances where the woman can have access to your wealth and you no longer have access to her beauty, which would be the case if she gets child support from this guy, then that is when it gets real. So you got to protect yourself from that scenario at all costs, get what you can without being put into that permanent situation. And once again, it's not going to be a good look. Um, you as an educator of game, if you put yourself, if you fall for this trap. So you know, when you, when you put the look on the table, at first, you're always going to attract that type of person who cares about the look, not the brain. Fresh is good looking, though. Okay. Not the cow. <laughs> Just for me, the looks not the most important. Where she was coming from, that's a small clip from when she was on the show. So take that how you will. All right. Anyway, if you're not a channel member, and you're feeling generous, then why not sign up and become a channel member? And to everyone else, I'd like to thank you for joining. This is Game Changer 00100. Game over. Peace.